All right, uh, I know that the deadline is is gone and done with, but that doesn't mean that smoke or fire is done. No. With. As nice. a matter of fact, uh, we have put uh, our weekly segment here, smoke or fire. For those who don't know, the rules are pretty simple. A simple, I will float a statement or a rumor that we have heard over the last little while. Kipper will tell me whether that smoke, yeah. meaning uh, there's not much there, or fire, meaning it is legit. Now, uh, there's a little bit of a bonus option this time around. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> <laughs> so smoke, fire, and shut your pie hole, meaning absolutely no zero oh, chance. Gosh. And if you forgot, uh, let me tell you something. We'll remind you. I was listening to Kipper and Justin Bourne on Sportsnet 590, the fan the other day, absolutely tear the idea of this line apart. Nick Kiprios, he's in studio to discuss the lines from Jesse Fuchs. What's going on here? Hey, Jess, close the pie hole on that one, man. I don't need Twitter all over me. I like to close the pie hole. <laughs> Uh, yeah, awesome. you, you know, right. yeah, very sensitive that that uh, social media that Twitter all yeah. over us discussing uh, Tavares playing the left side, right? Not a big fan of it, but Jesse poured gasoline on it, right? I understand it and listen I another thing that the Toronto Maple Leafs are rolling the dice on and now they've got to figure it out without Ryle O'Reilly and without John Tavares. All right, so uh, are you ready for a little I smoke, am. fire, or shut your pie hole? Yes. All right, we begin with what has been a disappointing season for the Calgary Flames. Now, despite the win last night, they remain five points back of a wild card spot in the West. If they miss the postseason, we all know there will be changes coming in Calgary. Smoke or fire, I want to shut your pie hole, is Daryl Sutter on the hot seat. Yeah, I, I got shut your pie hole on this one. Wow, yeah, I, right yeah, right I do. I, right I, I just don't see that they made the commitment to bring him back just a, a, a few short years ago. They gave him an extension, I think, a four million bucks <laughs> over over three years. I love the and, graphic. And just now, uh, they're going to make the decision to get rid of him. I, I don't see it at all. Of course, Brad Tree Living is playing out the option uh, in or his last year of mm -hmm. his contract. I think it's really lending towards that we'll probably not see Brad here before we don't see Daryl here. You don't think sweeping changes? It would be shocking to me. Again, we're, we're talking about uh, an off season, and I just don't know if they're going to go to that extreme right. off of off of commitments that they still have long term on a lot of these guys. Uh, they do, as uh, Jesse and I mentioned, have the second easiest schedule in the NHL down the stretch. Perhaps there'll be no talk of this because they'll be playing in the postseason. Smoke fire, shut your pie hole, I'm playing in the postseason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the Sens are one of the busiest teams last summer. Yeah. Uh, the results haven't translated on the ice until recently. Uh, Ottawa's good play of late gave Pierre Dorian the confidence to go out there and get Jacob Chikrin. Smoke or fire, Pierre Dorian saved his job at the deadline. I would say uh, uh, smoke. I would have had fire, obviously, a week ago, but... You know, there could be a sentimental push here for the Ottawa Senators if they rally and find a way to get in and maybe even have a little bit of success. Uh, but I, I think really it's lending towards a new ownership coming back and they're going to want to put their own people in. Can there be a, a fit for him short term or at least to prove himself uh, with new ownership? Yeah, that's a possibility. Again, it'll it'll lend towards uh, the swale that comes along between now and the end of the season for, for Dorian. But why wouldn't there be a window here? Like, big picture, a lot of talented guys now under that roof. They're locked into long-term deals. There seems to be a good momentum push. If the town feels like Pierre Dorian uh, stands a chance to be the next general manager with no ownership group, why wouldn't they listen? Yeah, I agree with that one. And, and what a tough one for Pierre Dorian to go through. All the exodus, have to trade all those players, the five-year yeah. championship window, dealing with the, the loss yeah. of Melnick, like he's gone through. Yeah, it's a tough decision for Ryan Reynolds, but hopefully he can <laughs> he can make the right one with Pierre Dorian. Put him in the I love it. 
an extra in his movies. <laughs> uh, Connor McDavid's unbelievable. We mentioned it earlier. He's currently on pace to score 68 goals this season after another multi-goal outing, this time against the Sabres. Uh, why not more? Smoke, fire, or shut your pie hole. <laughs> McDavid scores 70 this year. Uh, what does he care? It's just a number. Isn't that what he said when he scored 50? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yes, if you look the where it's trending and his shoot first mentality and uh, everything's pointing that, uh, yeah, there's another 10 or 12 goals in him for sure. Uh, but. I, I, this guy doesn't care. He, he's at that point. He's at a break point now where he has to have team success. Uh, I think he knows that team success is following him now with, with the amount of goals that he's scoring. So, yeah, the trend's there for him to, to, to push towards 70. I love when he was asked if he would like being as tall as Tage Thompson. He goes, ah, I don't know, it's worked out pretty well. (laughs) (laughs) So good. All right, last one. Josh Morrissey, breakout year, friend of the show, was on. It was in the dark in Winnipeg in his car. Uh, But we still talked a little bit about his breakout year. And all of a sudden, we're career highs, 15 goals, 67 points. Smoke, fire, shut your pie hole. Morrissey is Norrissey this year. A smoke for sure. He is in the hunt here. Can I remind everybody we're just under a quarter of the season to go. So much more hockey to play. So many uh, opportunities for guys to continue to get hot. But he is right in the thick of things. I don't see a non-playoff team uh, supported by a, a Norris Trophy winner. I really so you don't think Eric Carlson no, can win it on no. a non-playoff. Yeah, like I, Look, I, come on, Eric Carlson's having a great season, and if he didn't, he's an overwhelming it's, favorite. instead of being in 30th place overall, they'd be in 32nd. Mm-hmm. Like I don't care. And, and there's you something you might want to sprinkle then. There, there's Kimber. something to be said that he he gets to play a looser style of game to go get his points right. uh, under a team that has zero expectations uh, to do well. That to me is a, a huge knock against him. We'll see where. Uh, uh, Darlene and Buffalo go with their playoff spot. Yeah. But right now, there's uh, 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 Quinn Hughes has got some great numbers, mm-hmm. right? Non playoff team. Sorry. But uh, I, I lend it towards uh, uh, Norrissey in Winnipeg and Dougie Hamilton right now. Right. Fox is going to play into that mix, too. He's on the outside looking in. Given the, uh, not according to Vegas, my friend. <laughs> but according to Nick Kiprios. That's a, that's a New York thing. Maybe you want to sprinkle. Time for one last break. Some Champs League highlights. Plus, we'll get you to game time before Hockey Central takes over on Sportsnet. It's Tim and Friends. Can you stick around, please? Oh, yeah. yeah.